the biggest, riskiest, most spectacular scene was yet to come. After weeks of rehearsals, 60 divers using more than $85,000 worth of diving equipment created the stunning underwater jihad. <laughs> Director Riku Browning choreographed the action. We would rehearse the sequences topside aboard this huge barge that we had rented, and uh, then we would try to recreate what we rehearsed on the surface underwater. And in those days, we really didn't have underwater communication like we have today. So we used hand signals. To film the subaquatic action, producers hired Lamar Boren, a key developer of underwater cinematography. Engineer Jordan Klein worked with special effects supervisor John Steers to create the illusion of a saltwater battle. Terence Young and the underwater team tried to film every imaginable form of mayhem. Stuntman Frank Cousins doubled for Sean Connery for much of the sequence. To achieve this effect, a wire attached the stuntman to a speedboat on the surface. And of course, there had to be sharks. All real, and this time all very much alive. We had to learn kind of hit and miss of how to handle them so you don't get hurt. And we found that the tiger shark was better to work with in that if you let him go, he would kind of go in a straight line. But if you had a lemon shark or a bull shark uh, and you let them go, sometimes they just turn, like right now, they're facing you. And that's not too groovy, you know, seeing those chompers. As the guys say, uh, the man in the gray suit's coming for you.